Those who support Northern Ireland staying within the United Kingdom understand the Union as critical to a shared future. They view the arguments for a united Ireland as a Nirvana fallacy, in which nationalists underestimate the benefits of the Union and can only offer an uncertain future. Those who are pro-Union know that after 40 years of conflict that the economy has structural issues, but they point to a Northern Ireland that is on the move, a place with a viable and positive future. Northern Ireland is the world's top region for fintech and the top location for US investment in cybersecurity and is one of the top 10 digital economies of the future. Unemployment in 2020 is 2.9%. Ireland's is 5.3%. We have the sixth best performing education system for primary maths in the world. Living costs are lower here because of the union. Those who support Irish unity say wages are higher in Ireland, but they omit to mention the cost of living differences. For example, a couple with one preschool child earning a combined income of €75,000 in Belfast has a disposable income that is 38% higher than a couple on the same income in Dublin. And a single person earning the most typical salary in Ireland and renting a one-bed flat outside of Dublin City is left with an income nearly €15,000 per year lower than their equivalent in Belfast. In a united Ireland, the cost of living would spiral and home ownership would be near impossible for most young people. We have a choice. We can remain part of the seventh largest economy in the world, or join Ireland, ranked 34th. Irish unification would end the £10 billion per year Westminster subvention, which keeps public expenditure high in Northern Ireland. Public spending in Northern Ireland is 45% higher than in Ireland. A united Ireland would place a massive burden on taxpayers, drive up state debt, reduce gross national income and lower the rate of employment. In Northern Ireland, healthcare is free at the point of need to everyone. By comparison, only 37% of the Irish population are entitled to free healthcare. In Ireland, a visit to A&E can cost around €100. Euro while seeing the GP in the first place costs around €65. Euro. If the doctor recommends a blood test or an X-ray, that incurs an extra charge. When referred to hospital, many also pay for the consultants and other services. While prescriptions in Northern Ireland are free, a family in the Republic can pay up to €124 Euro per month. Northern Ireland is home, somewhere and not nowhere. Those who portray Northern Ireland as merely dysfunctional and without hope undermine not only a shared future, but a people who, despite their differences, are building a society. It is a place with world-class sporting and cultural brilliance, from Rory McIlroy to Jonathan Ray, Seamus Heaney to Ruby Murray, the undertones to Snow Patrol, Derry Girls and Game of Thrones, a place 21 million people choose to visit every year. All of this achievement and much more speaks of a phenomenal advancement of Northern Ireland, from a place with a poor international reputation into one with a growing global recognition. The best legacy to our disrupted past is to build a positive future for everyone on this island, benefiting from being part of the Union while continuing to grow our all-island relationships economically, socially and culturally. The people of Northern Ireland want to move forward together, to rebuild, restore and renew, to build that bright future and create pride in the place we all call home.